This morning, flights grounded as more countries close their borders to the UK, including Germany, Italy, Turkey and Canada. After Britain warned a new strain of coronavirus might be hyper-contagious. It may be up to 70% more transmissible. New York's governor questioning inbound flights. Right now, this variant in the UK is getting on a plane and flying to JFK right now, today. To me, this is reprehensible. France even closing ports, crucial supply lines for freight. London's world famous shopping streets deserted days before Christmas, the UK locking down the southeast of England. In the hours after the announcement, crowds rushed to leave by train and by plane. By this morning, the British government adjusting its message. I think the reality is it will already be in other places and it's already been found in, in uh, several other European countries. And there is evidence of the same virus variant in Italy, Belgium, Denmark and the Netherlands. The new variant has multiple mutations to its spike protein, 17, an unusually high number, affecting its shape. Mutations are not unusual, but this one has spread fast, especially in and around London. And UK COVID cases were falling after tough restrictions. Now they are soaring, the infection rate up 51% this past week. We don't know for sure that this variant is more infectious. We don't know. Uh, only uh, mathematical modelling right now was done on that. The World Health Organization saying it's working with the UK to get a clearer picture. Re that research needs to be done. And we've been talking to experts uh, all morning here, Craig, and some crucial points. These changes are to the spike protein, and that is what the vaccine acts on. But the changes, experts think, are small enough that they won't affect the efficacy of a vaccine. They think a virus would take uh, years to achieve that. They also do not believe that the virus is made more deadly by these changes. But another crucial point, uh, Craig, there are world experts in genome mutations here in the UK. The UK is kind of a centre for this. So one possibility is that the UK has really picked this up more quickly. What does that mean? It means that it is likely to have spread globally already and that other countries around the world are going to have to follow the UK's lead with the lockdown we're now experiencing. Right now, here. this variant in the UK is getting on a plane and flying to JFK. Right now, this variant in the UK is getting on a plane and flying to JFK right now, today. To me, this is... Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who taught me his truth, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amuwan Gobar. Back with another lesson, Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit. Rekakwadash, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson straight to the point. Now, just touching on a, a few articles, I guess, you know, on blowing the trumpet. In Zion, now um, the video and intro was from um was taken from Elder Taj Dakba's page, and it's gonna be linked in the description box. You know the first link in the description box, so you can click on it and go watch the whole video there, and subscribe to his page along with all the other apostles and elders pages that are also linked in the description box. All right, but um as you see or as you heard, Governor Cuomo, which is the governor of New York City. Pretty much said that, um, he said, well, he ain't pretty much, he did say that, that, um, new strain of the C-19 virus is on a plane from the UK on its way to New York City, JFK right now. All right, now JFK International Airport is pretty much the heart of, you know, the airports in America, okay, because... It's international. It goes pretty much everywhere within the United States. So once, let's say, you know, once that thing hits, or whatever they're talking about, once once it hits JFK, just consider the whole entire United States already so-called infected, all right? According to their logic, all right? Because we all know what the deal is behind this C-19 pandemic. We all know, you know what I'm saying? But going along with what they're saying, okay, 
we ought to expect a next um, nationwide shutdown, all right, and borders being closed off, just like what we've seen earlier, um, earlier this spring, you're going to see it again, but it's going to be worse this time, and it's no coincidence that they, they got a new strain right after they released or made the vaccine um, accessible, or okay, or delivered the vaccines over here in America, and you approved or the Pfizer, the the Moderna. You know what I'm saying? So all of a sudden, you know, there's a new strain. Which the scriptures say we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Okay, and it also says in Ephesians six, which I've been quoting these scriptures a lot lately, that um, you know, beware the wiles of the devil, which wild mean tricks, craftiness, deception. So here it is. You know, they scaring people on this new strain. You know, all the naysayers that was against the vaccines and this and that. And this, they, they scaring them into considering to get in this vaccine since there's a new strain. And, you know, believe through the spirit, man. You know, we believe through the spirit that eventually they will release something that's going to have people dropping dead. You know what I'm saying? At, at You know, at whatever rate that they're going to be dropping dead just to scare people into getting these vaccinations, which ultimately will lead to the mark of the beast. All right, because on top of that, you have um, Trump. I don't think I pulled this article up. Let me see if I did. Um, I did it. Let me see. There's a video or article. Let me see. Okay. <clears throat> so here it is, you have Trump said that he won't sign the COVID relief bill. All right. He won't sign the COVID relief bill because the headline, let me read it real fast, says from the Times, President Trump suggests he won't sign COVID uh, C-19 relief bill and says Americans should get two grand, two thousand dollars. All right. So that right there is a is a discrepancy. All right. And I. Like the scriptures say that um, if Satan be divided against Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? You know, because it seems as though Trump is doing his own thing, which he always seemed as though he been, you know, adding his own two cents into the agenda, doing his own thing, which, you know, he coming in that spirit of Nero. All right. Which we believe that he, he may be Nero through the spirit or he is Nero through the spirit. We believe that through the spirit. But, you know, this man seemed like he's doing his own thing and, and Biden will be the perfect puppet to just do whatever the the elites tell him to do so we're going to see how this play out you know what i'm saying he's not going to sign or he said he won't sign the relief bill so that means you know everybody that's depending on that um that 300 um on top of the unemployment unemployment extension and 600 dollars one-time payment won't be getting it until he signs it so you know all that's tying into is forcing you know, because you can't do nothing against the truth. So even if he is doing his own thing and putting his little twist on it, which, you know, he got that spirit on him. You, everything is playing right into the Lord's hands anyway. All right. Let me get a quick precept. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 20. And I'll start at six. Now know I that, excuse me, now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven. With the saving strength of his right hand. The anointed are the elect. Alright. The elect that are anointed to preach his word. Like the scriptures say, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me and to, to, to preach the gospel to the poor. Alright. The Lord have anointed his elect to preach the gospel, the anointed ones. Alright, which the scriptures or, or um like the scriptures say they were first called Christians at Antioch, which Christians simply means the anointed ones. Alright. So now that I excuse me, now that I Excuse me, now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed, his elect, the one third. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of our Lord, of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now some trust in chariots and some in horses, which chariots and horses symbolize power. All right, when you read um, Isaiah, the 31st chapter, it talks about woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And stay on chariots and horses. All right, which symbolizes the strength of Egypt, which Egypt is talking about America. Now, they playing with the, the, the emotions of these Americans. Now, ultimately, what's going to happen is that the, the um, Esau Edom 
is making it to where the entire of America, all of America is going to depend on the government because that's ultimately the goal. So that's that's why they are that's why they crippling businesses. Okay, because here it is, they say no more indoor dining here in New York, right? So you got certain um restaurants that set up outdoor seating areas and they enclosed it and they got heating system in it and there's people in there. You know what I'm saying? So what's the point? You know, if you were smart enough, if these people were smart enough, they would say, what's the point in closing indoor dining when they brought indoor dining outside? And just, and, you know, same shit. That's to cripple businesses because what they're trying to do ultimately is have every single last American depending on the government. And that's the trap. That's the mouse trap right there that, that, that will cause everybody, according to Revelation 13 and 16 on down, that he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, all right, to receive the mark, which is the mark is Karagma, which is the mark of the beast. That's that mouse trap. Now crippling people's businesses, you know, and then and then setting up these stimulus, and then eventually what's gonna happen is in order to get a stimulus, you gotta get the vaccine. And then they're gonna keep on feeding you or feeding people, feeding people, and then eventually they're gonna just say, all right, next next step is is the chip. You know, I'm not saying that's, that's exactly how it's gonna play out, but you know, if you, you know you you paying attention, that's what they're doing. You know, that, that's exactly what they're making it seem to be because we know the chip is the end-all, be-all. So anyway, it says, Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, our power. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Now, who's going to be brought down and fallen? Those that put their trust in Egypt. All right, those that trust in um, chariots and trust in horses. Okay, they're all going to be brought down and fallen because... They'll lead, they're falling right into the snares of Esau, Edom, and, and his trap, his new world order, because they've been blinded, all right? And they refused to hearken unto the words of the Lord when the warning was going out, all right? It says, but we are risen up, oh, but it says, but we are risen and stand upright, because why? The Lord is going to be our strength, okay, in our day, in that day, all right? Our strength, that strong tower that we're going to run into, Lord willing, and be safe from the, the wrath that's about to come. You know, we're going to trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all the way through. You know, Lord willing, we be found of the elect. Okay, we're going to trust in him, trust that he's going to provide. Because the time is coming where all the resources that, that are easily accessible is going to be cut off. Alright, so it says, save, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. So let Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, hear us. When we call upon him, you know, let the Lord hear us when he call upon him. Let me go to Psalms 118. The book of Psalms chapter 118 and verse, verse 9. Oh, I started um 8. It says, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. All right, because here it is. Okay, let's say. There is a pandemic, whatever. Let's say, let's say, let's say there's people dropping dead left and right. Who are you gonna trust in? Remember, the Lord is the one that killeth and maketh alive. Like the scripture say in Isaiah, um, I believe 47, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He's the one that sends these diseases and plagues. So who are you gonna put your trust in? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, or are you gonna put your trust in man? The same man that is that is set up to be the hammer of the whole earth. Okay, the, the symbol of death, Esau Edom. All right, it said it's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes, the kings of this earth. Because remember, if you're in the know, you know that it's these elites that are orchestrating this thing. We know that it's their agenda to bring forth this new world order. Okay, so no matter how ugly it gets and how uncomfortable and what kind of messed up situation you're going to be in, remember that this devil has an agenda. And all the way through is, is the agenda of, of these elites. Which the Most High is controlling, but ultimately, you know, he's using Esau to do it, you know, so just remember, it's an agenda, it's all an agenda, you know, some of us are going to lose our jobs, you know, cars, homes, family members, whatever, but it's all in the hands of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, alright, all in the hands of the Lord, man, so let me, um, let me go back to this article I had, originally, it says, from um, NBCNewYork.com, NBC News. It says airlines meet 
Cuomo's ask or met Cuomo's ask to test UK flyers to NY amid new contagious strain of C-19 fears. So if, if there's a C-19 fears, why isn't the U.S. shutting it down? Why, why, ain't, why, aren't, why aren't they shutting down their borders to the U.K.? If if it, if it's a real if it's a strain that's that's even more seventy percent um transmissible and, and and even worse why did why the borders ain't being shut down that's because they they allowing it they allowing it to happen this is all this is all part of the playbook all right they allowing it to come here so that they can do exactly what the UK is doing all right which is um severe shutdowns all right total shutdown total lockdowns okay. And this is only the beginning of the winter. Uh, winter marked, or the 21st marked the first day of winter. You know what I'm saying? So this is only the beginning of winter. We got a couple more weeks, so a week and a half of December, then January, then February. And then, you know, things kind of get a little warmer during March. But still, even this March that passed was when they really took precautions to this so-called um, virus. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be the same thing over again, but worse. All right. So it says a new variant of the C-19 surging through the UK has local leaders worried of its spread throughout airplane travel. While Governor Cuomo says he's taking steps to keep it out of and why he believes it's already here. So when they say stuff like that, then it's already here. So. And also there was talks about them shutting things down after after so-called Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, 2021 can be a total lockdown. From the very beginning of the New Year's can be a total lockdown. You know what I'm saying? 2021 could be a very, you know, it's going to be a very severe year. All right? Because this man has an agenda. He know that his time is short. All right? He know that his time is short, man. You know? Uh, let me go real quick to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 17. In verse 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and make flesh his arm, and whoso and whose heart departeth from the Lord. So cursed be those people that are gonna, you know, believe everything these elites say, you know, through their media, their witchcraft, their enchantments, you know, even these Israelite groups teaching you. To go ahead, hey man, the ISUPK got a whole promotion, a whole promo. All right, the elder brother, um, Yasha Wamba, have put it up on his page. You know, I, I believe I shared it in the community section. Yeah, you can go check it out if you aren't already subscribed to that elder's page. You can go check it out. But, um, they got a whole promo, the ISUPK saying, take the vaccine, I mean, take the vaccine, whatever, take the vaccine. A whole pro, a whole promo, it looked like a commercial, it looked like an actual ad, okay, that you would see on. A YouTube ad to take the vaccine, and that's what they're telling you, Israelites. And now you Israelites are starting to see, you know, these men are always were always full of shit. And the apostles and elders been bringing that out, man. The apostles, spent from from Apostle Haro on down, been exposing this damn clown, man. Let you know that he was a total bug out, a sellout. Here it is, he's telling you to go ahead and take Esau's vaccine. You know what I'm saying? Despite all the wicked shit Esau have done to us throughout. All history. Now, at the very end of his kingdom, they telling you to go ahead and trust what he got for you, man. You know what I'm saying? That's bugged the hell out. And all and all you Israelites that ever came up against GMS, man. You know, at least you have repented. The Most High gonna destroy you. Okay, at least ye, ye have repented, man. All right, because we remember, like Apostle Tari always saying, where all the scoffers at, man? Where they at? You know, we used to have a shitload of scoffers, uh, ton loads of uh, thumbs downs. People talking smack, making parody videos about us. Where they at? You know what I'm saying? Like the scripture said, then shall be known who are my chosen, who are my prophets. All right? And the time for talking is, is almost over, man. It's almost over. Anyway, verse 6 says, For he shall be like, in, excuse me, for he shall be like the, the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit a parched place in the wilderness, in a salt land and not inhabited, mean you're gonna be left desolate. You ain't gonna have no protection. You ain't gonna have no water. You ain't gonna have nothing. You ain't gonna have the truth. You gonna be left desolate. All right. You gonna be left desolate. It says, "Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord is." 
All right, whose hope the Lord is. So blessed is that man that trusts in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and whose hope is in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh man. Okay, blessed is that man because he's going to be good, like the scriptures say, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, meaning you always going to be nourished, okay, taken care of. You won't wither. You won't, you know, be desolate and just perish, okay? And those trees that are planted, if you know, in real life, in real nature, those trees that are by riverbanks, are the, are, the, are the most healthiest, biggest, and, and longest living trees in that forest, man. Because they have the waters right next to them. The roots is all underneath that riverbank. You know, getting fed constantly. Constantly, man. Alright? So that's like unto an Israelite man that take heed to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, And shall not see when the heath cometh, which is talking about the destruction. Because that's what's really coming, the destruction. And Esau, Edom is bringing that destruction. All right, and every step of the way, man, we watching this devil. We watching the news. You know, scripture say, watch as well as pray. Watch what? Watch the prophecies. Watch the news. Because the prophecies is happening in real time. So you're supposed to watch the prophecies and align it with the scriptures. All right, and then bring it out to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, the lambs of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and then you also supposed to be praying daily. All right, every day. As soon as, uh, every, every day when that thought, uh, you know, cross your mind to pray, pray. All right, because we living we living in evil days, man. Evil days are ahead of us. All right, so it says, and shall not see when the heath cometh, but her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the years of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. So even when there is a famine, <clears throat> okay, shortage of food, like the Lord said, behold, my servant shall eat. Okay, the Lord said his servants are going to eat, while everybody else is hungry and starving. And don't have none to eat. The elect members are going to have food. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Okay, meaning the minds of men. Your, your, your mind, if it ain't of the scriptures, is wicked, man. Your thoughts are wicked. Okay? 100%. If it ain't of the scriptures and of the Holy Spirit, then, you know, you're going to hell off. All right? Telling people to go ahead and get the vaccine. Been doing a whole campaign. All right? So let me see if I'm going to read any of this. It says, what to know? Gov Governor Andrew Cuomo said British Airways, Delta, and Virgin Atlantic have agreed to require pre-departure C-19 C tests of UK passengers before they fly to NY. So everybody got to get tested. Even if you didn't want to get tested, now you got to get tested. You know what I'm saying? Well, in order to fly anyway, you got to get tested. And we all know the, the, the trickery of getting those tests and what they do when they, when they stick it up your nose. All right? It says the new strain hasn't yet been detected locally, officials say. Um, two, it says the variant strain is said to be up to 70% more contagious than the last one, according to the UK Boris Johnson. Um, the last or the latest surge led to him locking down his country once again. So right now the UK is on lockdown. All right. And this is the second strain. Like they just knew a second strain was going to come. We knew it too. You know, we said it. Go back and watch the old videos from the apostles on down. We said that they're going to come with a second lockdown, second wave, you know, second, um, um, a new strain or whatever the case may be. And this is only the beginning. All right. 2021 is going to be a hell of a ride, man. You know, those that trust in Yahweh by Shema Shah is going to be, you know, well equipped and buckled up and ready to go for that ride. Verse three says, not verse three, but number three says, travel into the U.S., from most European countries, including the UK, is still banned per the Department of Homeland, Homeland Security. At least one report said President Trump was planning to lift that ban this week. So we'll see. All right, we'll see. I'm going to link this in the description box as well as the um, the other article that I was reading. All right. You know, things are going down, man. All right. The Heavenly Father is about to visit this earth. I mean, oh, he's about to send his son, Yahweh Shah, to visit this earth in which he made. All right, so prepare for another lockdown real soon. You know, they saying after Christmas, just, you know, keep an eye out for things. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when it happens, it happens, whatever. But just blowing the trumpet in Zion, man. So I'm going to end it here, Lord willing. This was an edifying lesson to the elect. Till next time, I say Shalom.